Pete, thank you. We have pinpoint weather team coverage of the deep freeze as there are warming centers that have been opened around the state to help people stay warm today. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live now in one of those shelters in Providence with the details. Kate? Danielle, we're live inside the West End Community Center in Providence. This is one of several warming centers across the city welcoming anyone in need of heat to come on in. When temperatures are in the single digits with wind chills making it seem even colder, frostbite can quickly start to set in. That's why neighbors are helping neighbors across Providence. If someone is at home and they have the question of where can I go to heat up or to cool off, uh, you dial your local 211 and they can direct you here. Here is the West End Community Center in Providence, one of several warming centers open in this city for those looking to stay warm. 211 is the number connecting you to United Way of Rhode Island, which will help find resources for you in your community. Cheryl welcomes everyone to the West End Community Center at 109 Buckland Street. It's a variety of the youth coming from middle school or the senior population coming from the market or just going from point A to point B. We also checked in at the Da Vinci Center for Community Progress, where volunteers were ready to help anyone in need. If you are warm, you're advised to check in on your elders and those most vulnerable to make sure they have heat and food in this dangerously cold weather. And we have more information on resources available on our website, WPRI.com. Remember, if you need immediate assistance, call 211 and they'll connect you to resources in your area right away. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. And our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage will continue around the clock at WPRI.com. And Pete will have your full forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. Chief Meteorologist Tony Pachaka will have much more tonight at 5.